The UK's biggest fund, Terry Smith's Fundsmith, has been downgraded by Morningstar. With me to explain why is Daniel Hayden from the manager research team. Daniel, thank you very much for being here. So the fund's racing has changed from gold to silver. Can you explain the rationale behind the downgrades? Morning, Sonny. Um, yes. So I like to maintain a bear case scenario for most of the funds that, that I cover. Um, here, unfortunately, um, some of my bear cases has begun to come to light. They're not all, and, and we do maintain some conviction. In particular, I'd like to draw attention to Terry Smith's cell discipline, uh, which in recent years, and particularly in the last 18 months, has really come to the fore. Um, we, we tend to see this kind of thing happen for, for buy and hold managers when they see some outflows. Um, but, but here, what I see as a slight lack in rigor is, uh, is, is, is really something um, which, which I've taken a look at. Um, so PayPal, Terry Smith says he sold that too late, um, and, and there are a number of management missteps there. Estee Lauder, which had some difficulties in China, was similarly painful for the fund. These were sold too late. On the other hand, there are also a couple of positions that were sold too early, or mm -hmm. at least according to Terry. Uh, these were fundamentally justified, but then the price took off afterwards in part due to the massive tailwinds from AI. So, so that was Amazon and then also Adobe. Mm. So what is Terry Smith's sell discipline like? So over time, Terry has been extremely long-term and that's been one of his edges. Uh, in fact, he's a talented investor and he's managed to see through short-term price volatility and also some cyclical operational um, uh, uh, effects. So um, here then, um, he, he tends to sell when a stock looks too expensive compared to his rather restricted universe of stocks, uh, but also when he begins to think that management are taking the company in a strategic direction that he doesn't like. And finally, if he just admits he made a mistake. Hmm. Another thing is the process pillar, which has been changed from high to above average. So for the uninitiated, what does that mean? How does that fit into your um, ratings framework? So at Morningstar, we have a forward-looking rating framework. Um, we, we tend to look at both the process and then also the people pillars. Um, so here we, we look at the consistency of implementation and then the investment philosophy. We still really like this investment philosophy here, um, but, but as mentioned, there are some questions uh, in terms of the sale discipline. Um, as I mentioned to colleagues, then um, uh, Julian Robbins, um, Terry Smith's second in command, he has an unofficial rule which I'll paraphrase, um, which is essentially just to, to sell when management begin to disappoint. Um, there, there are indications that perhaps Terry has become more trigger happy and, and emotional uh, in, in these regards. Um, and this, this is disappointed slightly. Um, elsewhere, what's quite interesting here is that the top two positions are now close to 10% of the fund each. This is a departure from what we've seen in the fund's earlier years. Uh, and it's also in stark contrast to the smaller sustainable fund, which is managed more in accordance to uh, the earlier years of, of, of the very large sustainable, uh, the very large funds with equity fund. Mm. So I guess the last thing we need to talk about then is how this has impacted performance. What's performance been like recently for the fund? So the fund actually compares quite well against uh, the, the broad um, growth category that we look at at Morningstar. Um, many of those funds have had more exposure to some of the growth names that sold off a few years ago. Um, what's also interesting is Facebook or Meta um, performed really strongly for the fund having disappointed the prior year. Um, so that's been reassuring. However, the fund's free cash flow yield is now below that of many comparative indices. Um, what we've noticed is that when that uh, measure of value is, uh, is more attractive compared to the index, really strong performance tends to follow. I mean, I'm no oracle in, in this regard. Um, no one can truly predict the future. Um, and there are many reasons uh, to be hopeful still, uh, and, and hence we've maintained a silver rating here. Indeed, the performance over the long term remains stellar and long term investors have been handsomely rewarded. Um, however, there's, there's a bit more uncertainty um, uh, now and that's reflected uh, in, in the new rating. Hmm. 
Daniel, thank you very much for being here today. For Morningstar, I'm Sinevar Kolostiak.